Well, um, if you want to make the perfect festive drink for all those holiday parties you'll be going to, we have Brian Miller here, a certified wine specialist from hy V this morning to show us how it's done. How are you doing? Doing good, doing good. How Great. Are you? Great. So what do we have here? Well, I've got uh, a couple, two basic drinks that are with the holiday season. Okay. Uh, We've got the mimosas. Of course. Um, the mimosas are considered like a morning and afternoon, early brunch mm -hmm. drink and that stuff. Uh, perfect these, for this morning. Yes, perfect, oh, perfect. for this morning. Yeah. Perfect for this morning. So what are you using? Um, right this I'm using actually is a French cognac okay. called Grand Monnier. We're going to be making Grand Mimosas this morning. Okay. Right. So exactly what we're going to do is we're just going to pour a little dash in the glasses. Okay. Does it make a difference um, what kind of you know, alcohol you're using, you know? Well, like? your most standard mimosas are just champagne and orange juice. With your grand mimosas, we're using, like I said, the Grand Monnier. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to uh, fill the glass up with a little bit of the Grand Monnier. Okay. Uh, top it off about three quarters with the champagne. Okay. Hopefully not get too carried away and... And then the orange juice. And then just top it off with a little bit of orange juice. I feel like this really is a staple during the holidays. You it know? is, it is. And this and this is for like mom and dad when, you know, the kids are opening up the presents right. or something like that. They can just relax and have a couple cocktails in the yeah. morning. Yeah. Or like I said, with brunch. Right. You know, something very simple, very easy. Whoops. Okay. So do you like mimosas yourself? Yes, mimosas are <laughs> delicious. Delicious. Oh, great. All right, okay. so then we got those. And then with your standard, uh, you know, holiday festivities mm -hmm. and that stuff, um, eggnog's always a big one. Of course, I love eggnog. Um, so good. Yes, I love eggnog. <laughs> um, and, you know, if, if you don't want to do it yourself, uh, there are pre-made eggnog's out there okay. that come with the alcohol already in them. Uh, but Does it, it taste better, a little homemade? Um, honestly, I uh, my own personal opinion, no. Okay. And my, my own personal opinion is is, you know, to make your own. And well, you can kind of regulate right. how much yeah. alcohol. Goes exactly. Into exactly. I mean, right. I, th I think I think this one is like I want to say twenty, about twenty proof. Okay. It's it's you know it's it's not that heavy. It's light. It's easy to make okay. and that stuff. But with your your regular eggnogs, you can just you know get some of the pre-made eggnogs. And if people are a little you know hesitant with you know dealing with eggs and that stuff, mm -hmm. both of these are pasteurized. Okay. I mean, so you don't have to really worry about that at all. This one is your regular eggnog. This one is, if anybody's watching, calories mm -hmm. or fat content. This okay. one is a light one. So you can make one. them a little healthier? Yes, Kind of like a diet eggnog? Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> diet Coke, it diet has, eggnog. It has half the calories okay. and probably a third of the fat. Okay. So, I mean, and... Uh, so what goes into making eggnog? Well, when I when I when I made the eggnog uh, today, I mean you can you can make it with it's pretty much your your own decision. You can okay. make it with the uh, the amaretto. Some people make it with rum. Some with spiced rum. I prefer whiskey. Okay, make it cool. You're making them strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so you know you just you know just probably kind of what better. your favorite alcohol in it. Yeah, it's just whatever it's just whatever you know you want to go with and that stuff. Okay. Um. Now you got a little thing of spice back here. What's, that, or that, I think that's, that's spice. Yeah, that's that's just a little. I, I just my own personal touch and that stuff. I just pop okay. you know a little bit of nutmeg. Oh, okay. On top I would of them. love to be a guest at one of your holiday parties. <laughs> I bet you have the best <laughs> drinks, the best food. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so there's 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 uh, guys. If uh, can I can I try this? Yeah, go for it. Right. Go for Cheers. it. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. That's really good. Delicious. Yeah. I've, I've never had really been an eggnog drinker, but that's really good. I really like and, it. And and one thing one thing I want to point out with eggnog, it's uh, it's it's better to plan ahead. Okay. And if you, you know if you got maybe a day or two, to what I say, let let it work. Okay. And uh, just just kind of it, it's 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 a ratio to mix your own you know however you want it. Well, thank you so much for being here, and we'll put all this information on heartlandconnection.com, and we'll be right back.